Hey everyone, Panda back with you, and we are talking about day four of the Tannis insert experiment. Four days since this has been out of my bike tire. I've been keeping this in a, let's say, overly warm room, and we have regained a very small amount of the uh, foam bouncing back, and I mean a very small amount. I mean, if you look right here, the center of this foam is no more thick than the side right here, okay? Now, when you get these stock brand new, this is a lot thicker, okay? And of course, you know, I, I did put a reach out to Tannis and kind of, I don't want to go into the details on that. Basically, it's, you know, maybe I did something wrong, but I used their tube, so the tube was not too big. I did not have the tire overinflated, which I've already stated more than more than once. So, and the insert has been out of the tire for four days now. Four days. I took this out on Tuesday. We're gonna do an experiment here, really quick. I'm gonna show you standard tack. All right, thumb tack. This will simulate say running over a small nail, a thorn, or a uh, small staple on the road. Now, I'm gonna push this right on through, right up here. Now, it does take some force to put this through. You know, that's the one thing I do have to say about it. You know, this is a pretty firm uh, insert, but look at this. right here see it's popping up that will puncture your tube the tannis is not thick enough in the center to prevent this because it has not bounced back did not hold its shape so honestly your uh, a decent tire is going to have a better chance of protecting this from coming through than what the Tannis is. But the only thing I will say about it is this is really, really firm. I mean, it takes some pretty good force to push this in. And by the time you have your tube and all the air pushed in against that, you know, it could still give you some protection, I suppose. But you're not going to be running uh, home on a flat tire unless you're on a regular bike. So the Run Flat technology is a big red X when it comes to e-bikes. Now, quickly, I modified this because it isn't going to matter. I cut more off the sides to prevent the overlap where the Tannis, basically inside your tire, it totally wraps around your tube and comes down and wraps around the bottom of your tube along the actual rim where you have your protective uh, rim, rim liner at. And that right there is most likely what results in the very rare case of the tannis and the tube sliding, shearing off the valve stem. And it doesn't shear it off here. What it does, it tears the valve stem out down here at the bottom. But I cut this one out because, you know, I'm going to have to use this Tannis when I get my new tire, whenever I get it. FedEx is uh, missing in action, which is really annoying still. Contacted the, uh, the actual seller, you know, because I'm not very happy about that. But, you know, this is their tube they sent. So, you know, what's going to happen here, you see how I cut this down? to where it's not totally wrapping around the tube here. And as I inflate the tube up more, it's gonna expand like this. I mean, so there will be a little bit of protection, but this is not gonna protect you against something. If something makes it through the tire, a thorn or something like that, the Tannis after it's compressed is not going to protect your tire. So maybe you could add a layer of a uh, tire liner in there, like in this tube here. I've got to reuse the tube. I have eight ounces of flat out in this tube. You know, this is it. liquid, stays liquid. 
it's supposed to stay good for up to 10 years. So, yeah. Another option, too, you could buy a, uh, a motor, uh, motorcycle-style tube. I believe a 16 by 3 tube would fit. The kind that has the actual metal stem that comes up. That might give a little bit added protection. So just kind of food for thought there, guys. Um, day four of the Tannis insert experiment. Yeah. I don't know. But that's where we stand. And when I get my uh, new tire, whenever I get it, I'm going to go ahead and put this up inside. Use the uh, tube Tannis sent me because this one is a smaller size tube. And I'm going to see what happens at that point. So, hope you guys are keeping safe out there and enjoying your riding. I'm still on hold. I mean, yeah, I could put another tire and tube on my bike right now and get out there and go riding. But honestly, I don't want to keep going back and forth, taking the back tire off, the whole back wheel and everything. I mean, all of you guys, you know, it's not that hard once you've done it a few times, but it is kind of a pain in the butt. So... Anyways, keep safe out there. Peace.